think that's what we're going to be seeing out of the bottom lane combination of Team 8. The rest of the team is very dive-oriented. And Team Impact is a little bit more Team Impulse, is a little bit more yep. pick-oriented just because they do. For who you think will chalk up another victory here, tweet hashtag TIP win or hashtag T8 win. Two at LOL is going to be coming up soon for that bottom lane. They're sitting at just level five right now. Oh, yeah, Adrian, no this is the they roll for the now. bottom lane. We've been seeing this consistently. Usually it's with the jungler, but it's only going to be the do -si do for Adrian and Xiaoi Xiao. It all comes together with really helping Kali Troll stay alive there. See if Rush goes in for a hero steal. Nope. <laughs> nope. Still oh. jumped in, but there's no way out after. Oh, they leave him in there. This whole 10 minutes of control could be lost. Deja vu, Jat. Are they going to uh -oh. hit it once again? Slows it, waits, Got him anyway. then they hit the bubble. It's going to be Adrian. He flashes out and breaks the tether. Just one after the other. Everything played perfectly. One not getting taken down just yet against teammate. Two kills, though. Oh, he wants rush. Just kill him. Got to make it fast. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Uh -oh. Oh, hesitated. That was, that was sweet. But he smited. Right as he was getting expecting the Malphite Oriana combo right now. I wonder. That's good. They're grouping up a little bit. This is getting dangerous. They're respecting Meganar as well. Oh, they're pinning themselves in the Dragon Pit, but they just cannot close the gap from the side of Team 8 to get that ultimate to count. Obviously, the distortion out by Xiao Wei Xiao, the Mimic as well. Keeps himself safe. Porpoise is taking quite a bit of damage. Dodo comes in for the ultimate to disengage and let the team reassess the fight. It may be what they needed. Rush is stuck in, but nobody wants to just go after him. They want to waste what is going to be coming from the power players. And there goes! Impact! No, they do go in! Kelly Trolls, can he be chased by the team? A little headstrong there, but Maple Street finishes with a buckshot. They do get the tidal wave to go back through. To just get one, the turret will go down, something they needed very much so, because this is them now getting wards into the side of Team Impulse in their jungle. And they can hopefully open up the game. Impact flashes in the double alt. Oh, That's the command they got protect, but it's not enough. Apollo with the snipe, and I don't know if they have the chase. If we can get we can in. do it. And if you're not map control, you can't get the fight, but Whoa. Adrian, that's how found. you dive in. Whoa. A beautiful job zeroing him out. Huge damage from Porpoise there. Flashing it. You know that first that first backstab, and he's thinking about it. So they have been found out. Oh, oh no, oh, that is not what you want coming into that. Cali right at Dragon. That's bad. Whoa, that's whoa. Bad for Impact flies in. That was Gnar wearing off as well. So he just got what he needed in the ultimate. Whoa, this is going to be Impulse just going overboard on this one. And it's exactly what they wanted. Oh, with the dodges. Maple Street, one more. He has enough mana. That's the shot he needed. Apollo lands it. That's going to be three kills going over to Impulse. You can only dodge bullets for so One for each side previously. And this is going to be Impulse gaining a bit of that lead back. They faltered a little bit. Teammate found a, not a bit of a power spike, but really worried. See where Xiao Wei Xiao is, as you were saying. That's his focus without any magic resistance. That's going to be the Gnar ultimate into the tidal wave. Wait for the turn. Wait for the Beautiful turn. Beautiful ultimate. Where is the shockwave? It's only one person. There it is. The four-man wombo combo. That's all they were looking for all game. Can they seal the deal? They're still losing a lot of HP, but it was all the control that they needed. And that's why they were waiting for it. Cali Trolls finally got the ball on. Impulse. And now they take down the inhibitors. A beautiful job by teammate to open this game wide open. Jeez, it's it's even now. Rush is trying to keep them occupied because there are a lot of people respawning. Teammate's got to run pretty fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There's a Randuins. That's the play. Is the command shield to come back in? Can he protect? Oh, he walks back into it. No, he still saves himself. This is going to be huge. Impact with a few more. He does get the kill. Impulse coming up huge with the rest of the team now as they run down the lane. This could equal something even bigger. I don't even know what T8's going to do after they come back from this one. Impulse is already going to have control of the map. They have control of this fight. And Team 8 overstayed their welcome. They could not get the inhibitor safely. And in that case, you should that bottom lane. So teammate just needs to force Impulse to check Baron. And then they can get a fight. That looks a little bit over aggressive, but it doesn't look like Impulse is willing to walk near Malphite. No, that was perfectly played. He safeguarded himself out of that one, and they said, let's do it. He has no more gap closes or dashes. He doesn't have it up right now. And Baron is big. I don't know if it could be this big. The jumper's big. down. It's a secured Baron as long as they just played safe. There it is. 
taking the damage that they needed to. Kali Trolls puts himself in the fire for the rest of the team. Now they just need to get out alive. A nice boulder toss from Impact. A good shockwave into collateral damage. Great no. combination. 300 HP at the top of your screen. Both living is going to be Maple Street and Dodo. Can they get out alive? Trying for the disengage. Oh. Once again, they get Slushy. But it is going to be Baron for Team 8. They're losing members. The lanes are pushed. And there's some... A Kali Trolls ultimate which may end up being negligible in the long run. That's the Talisman of Ascension. There's the chilling smite, and that's going to be Apollo going down. He finds some... Oh, oh, wow. Not before he can just get one loogie off onto Dodo. That hurts, too, because Dodo's trying... Street instantly. Yeah, no Janus Shield to help out with that one, but they are <laughs> persistent in these yeah. turrets. It's Every a... time they overpush for a turret, they seem to lose a fight. Oh, Kali Trolls went over the wall. That was the ultimate. He gets himself out alive. The fight's in the mid now. A great Monsoon once again to disengage, but this means now Impulse can try to stick to the fight. Both Randuins have been used. Slushy goes down. 1-7-7 and seven, not having the game he did previously on Oriana. From teammate. There's another one. Two to two now. This is teammate. Is what they want. You see, that is Xiao Wei Xiao back and forth as many times as he can to keep vision. Maybe get some poke in. That's gonna be rush. They said one's enough for us. Maybe we can continue the fight. Apollo fires it out, but the storm shield saves Cali trolls as he flashes mate now with the gold lead in their favor as they took that outer turret down. Kelly Trolls out might have to ult out of this one unless the team can get there. Where's the shield now? That was the unstoppable force. Rush goes down once again. Deja vu in the beginning of the fight. This time, it's the double oh, kill, no. and Xiao Wei Xiao absolutely pops two members of Team 8. Impact goes in huge and gets an ultimate that the entire team wanted to follow up on. There's a kill from Apollo. Impact solidifies one for himself, and it leaves Corpus running for the hills. This is an inhibitor turret for sure. Yeah, that was getting rid of Kali Trolls at the start of the fight and teammate completely lost their heads. Nobody knew what to do there. Slushy whiffs his shockwave, everyone else is retreating. An over-prioritization, or not even an over-prioritization, right. just trying too hard to Will clear they wards in dangerous places. I think that's the game. You make a mistake of that magnitude 40 minutes in in the close game, oh. and it's over. Even, he has spirit visage as well, and Xiao Wei Xiao just completely dominates Corbus's health bar. This is going to be Impulse showing a completely different team here. Beautiful job as they come in for their second game in week two, and they are able to take Woo! down Team 8. And it really could have gone either way down the stretch. It was just a big mistake there by Cali Trolls getting caught out, and then add to a whiff shockwave, Add to some fantastic gnarls, especially that one down the stretch by Impact. And that was it. It was an incredibly close game, back and forth. Impulse not necessarily taking as big of an edge as they should have in the early game. Gave Team A a window, which yep. was then exploited. Then they took it right back. Sigh of relief there, seen by Impact. The man on your screen right now as he rounds the corner. If they were to lose this one as well, I'm sure that pressure would have just kept building on impact. Games would have been harder. This is a great release. It really it's is. a really good step for the team. Yeah, that's that's going to be a good confidence boost for them, obviously. They probably took a pretty big hit yesterday when impact yeah. died so many times in that top lane. and just didn't feel like, hey, we're bringing in a world champion who's going to die at the start of the game. Yeah. That didn't happen here. Their world champion in impact landed some clutch gnarls. And to see him come back as well, saying, I have a big champion pool, and then he got pushed onto Lulu and didn't do so well. So him himself had something to prove, and it came out well. Team 8, it, it, it is, it's true. As it said, take hit the solo lanes as hard as you can. The bottom lane didn't push as much as they should have with the combination they had in that matched up 2v2, and I think they missed out on a lot of opportunities they could have taken. They did. They also overreached for opportunities as a team. Yeah which is something teammates going to have to do to continue to grow. It's too bad for them, obviously. They were super close to tying for first place in the, NA in the NA LCS after two weeks, which probably would have felt pretty great for a new team. But obviously, teammate, we've seen in some of their pre-match videos, they're saying they don't expect to be a top-tier team here at the start. They just want to kind of ease their way into the LCS, right. and they're going to have growing pains like this game where it's a close back-and-forth game that can go either way. Games like that happen.
They need to be able to bounce back next week from this defeat. That's kind of a thought that a lot of teams would have. I mean, you look over even to the European LCS where Giants were, and they kind of had the same thought. You know, our first split, we didn't expect to do much. And then they returned. They started doing well, obviously faltering a little bit as teams gain their footing. But each team has to realize they have a chance no matter what. Yep. Like, even these the Team Liquid, they came out huge. They've lost. They've faltered. And we've seen a lot of teams that people thought would be on the bottom beating TSM, beating Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, we're so used to now the NALCS starting with a four- to five-game week at the start, and we're just like, all right, that's how everything's happening. Who's going to surge? Yeah, the start of the season is really two to three weeks long as far as actually getting a bead on how mm -hmm. these teams are going to be panning out. And because there were so many substitutes at the start of the NALCS and how it'll kind of continue to be, especially yeah. with Winter Fox getting a few guys still coming in with their coach and their support, yeah. it'll be a while until we know the real power level of these teams. I'm glad you brought that up because Paul Belter actually brought up that he says this feels completely different. Mm -hmm. These usually started out in Super Weeks, and we were 0-4, so this is a completely <laughs> yeah. new feeling. Much better. Much better indeed. To break down that close match, let's talk.